how to assemble part in a SOLIDWORKS. We'll use a technique called Pro Up Assembly Modding. This means you design all the parts one by one, then you assemble all at once. We have designed all the parts. We'll leave the links below. So go ahead and watch how to model each one of these parts. We'll focus here in assembly only. The first thing we're going to do is open the assembly page. So you have two options to open assembly page. The first one is by going here to the new and then goes to the make assembly from the part. Click there and you will go straight to the assembly page. The second option is by going to the home, home tab. Just go to the home tabs. And in the home tabs, you simply have to click here assembly, click there, and you will go as well to the assembly page. So you have this tool. By default, when you open the assembly page, all the parts that are open will show up here in this open document. Just click there and then drag to the graphic area. So it is there. If you don't see the, the part like that, make sure that uh, in uh, the thumbnail preview, the graphic preview is checked. So if it is uh, off, you will not see it here. If you can see that, make sure that it is off and also make sure that uh, your rotate it is also a check so that you can rotate the parts before you select. Coming here to this origin, you can see that uh, you have two uh, origin, the assembly origin and the part origin. So they are different. Make sure that they are connected. It is always important to connect. Just come here and then click to this green. OK, so mean will automatically the original part and assembly part be connected both of them. Now let's here continue insert uh, all. You can also by just drag to the origin and then uh, you can also do in this way. Now let's here continue insert the part. Y you have three ways to insert uh, the part. The first one is uh, by just go to the insert and then uh, by default all the open documents, right? All you can just browse from here and you can choose where you have document and then click OK and then just move like that. Now, the second option is by open one part, one file. For instance, this one here, I open this file. Now, I will minimize and then just drag and drop to the assembly part. So, I have this page open, just drag this one here, just drag and move like that. So, that's the second option. The third option is by open your file folders, right? So I have here this file folder and I simply select all the parts that I will use. It can be uh, select all at once, right? So I can select all the parts. Then once all the parts are selected, just drag all at once. So it will just go all of them there like that. So you can see that uh, I can move all the parts. So to move the parts, just click on the left of your mouse and then move to each of the direction. You can as well, but not that this one here, this block, because it's the first part, by default it is fixed. You cannot move. So I'm here uh, trying to press left mouse, it's not move. To move, you just come here, right click, and then it goes to the float. This, this way now I can move. So that's the way it is. Now, you have as well three ways to, to move uh, or rotate components. By coming here to the menu called Move, Right, I can also like with um, the mouse with, with the, your left click or just come here to the move components. If you come here, you have in this option free. So this free means that uh, I can move the other way. Or you can just move along the axis Y, Z, O axis or Y, Z, O, X axis. So you can see that it is more uh, controlled movement. You can move in a very controlled ways by just coming here, okay? And this same happened with the rotates. Okay, now, okay, so, and that's the way it is. Now, the third way is to, to move your parts in assembly graphic area is by select the parts, right click, and then it goes rotate with the triad, make with the move with the triad. So you can here move as well, up, down, or rotate. So this one here, I think is the best because you have more controls and you can move all in any 
position. Because let's know here starts uh, by just insert the last component, which is uh, the piston head, before we start the assembly. We we'll here just move the the last component, which is the, the piston head, and um, like that. And then let's now here start by moving. So to move, I will need here to use the mate. I will come here and activate the mate, and the mate I will go to the mechanical and here use the hinge. Select this part, these two parts, these two faces. Now select also other, these two faces as well, click here, and then just right click and then click OK. So that done. The other part as well is uh, these uh, two parts, I'll just go uh, as well to the hinge, click there, and I also click this face, click the second face, which uh, will be here in this face, and also in that face, then they are also connected. I'm here using the hinge in the mechanical. I will go again, use again the hinge, and at this time it will be for the rod bearing. Click in the hinge, this, this face, and also this face there, and this face, and that face. To use the hinge, you must have four faces for the part you want to connect, okay? Just select the two parts and then the face. So now I will here uh, go and then duplicate the part. For just control and uh, click in the part you want to duplicate. Just press control with the control on, and then just move left with your mouse and uh, you can duplicate the parts. So I, I, I just have duplicated all the parts. Just control, press left, and then move to one of the direction. So that way you have to duplicate the parts. We'll just here delete the one that uh, are in excess. Okay, now goods. Now I can also do the same with the, the road bearing. So once I have duplicate now, you, you you don't have to to use the mate just simply use a edit in the mate and then here you just continue right here i am continue using the the hinge right by select the first face then the last contact okay this is the connection this part and that part okay and then do the same for all the parts so this um, here and also this same with all parts now i need also to click ok and then duplicate as well these uh, connecting rods left click control and uh, left click in your mouse good and also do the same with uh, the rod bearing okay let's now here continue with the mechanical and then hinge this face click this face and this face okay good right click and then okay same thing here, this, that face, that face, and uh, this face. Done. Right click and then OK. Do the same thing here. Click uh, this face, that face, uh, this face, and that face. Right click and then OK. This face, that face, that face, and this face. Right click, OK. So I am just doing a step by step guide. That face. And uh, this face, and also that that face. Right click and then OK. This face, that face, this one, and that one. So here I am using a hinge mechanical, mechanical and a hinge. So that's the way I am using. Do the same now with uh, the the cylinder here. Now I just use the the concentric, right? Just click here and then here inside in the piston and then so we'll go all together this side and that that one so you can see very easy now i just here move uh, put it down and uh, try to rotate i'll, I'll just here delete this um, origin and then just move down the piston so that it can connect and then here i need to rotate so that it can connect okay and then here i will use uh, as well concentric and then, uh, yeah, okay, now do this face that face, click OK, concentric, good. And uh, this face that face, concentric, OK. And here as well, rotate like that. Here as well, rotate. This face that face, concentric, good. OK. And uh, here as well, this one, concentric, click OK. Now let's here 
use as well the, the, the other parts, this two parts here, right? I just move here that one and also this face, click concentric, this one, that one, and then put here uh, coincident and the concentric. So here this face, that face, click OK. And um, here, this one and that one, put concentric because of uh, the bolt and here as well. Okay, now we have all this part. Let's say here, just find out what is, what are the other parts. And that's the way uh, you do to, okay, click, we'll need to do it again. We we'll just here, go backs. Okay, should be like that. Let's say here, go backs and, uh, okay. Now what I need to put it, okay, like that. I have these two parts, so just move like that and then rotate. In this position, do the same with uh, this one here, and I will uh, that one and this one here, right? Just move like that. Okay, that's that's one here as well. This one concentric, and uh, this one that's one as well concentric. Okay, now I have this this one here. Okay, now. I need to, you can see I can rotate, it is rotating. Now let's here as well do with the support of just here, rotate. And I can rotate all at once to be easier. And um, like that, so I just need to, this face, that face, make coincidence and, and this this one make, make um, okay, concentric. Okay, this one, that face, this one, okay, we need here to go back, just to avoid making, we'll, we'll just here go back and then rotate everything, we'll just here first rotate all the support, just come here, rotate this one here, okay, good, that's one, this one here as well, just Rotate like that and then move to this position like that. Good. And also this one here. Just move like that and then move the the position like that. Okay, good. Okay, now let's here uh, continue using the, the mate. The same mate, just edit. And then come here. Okay, this one. Good. This one, this one. Good. Done. Here as well, this face and uh, that face, coincident, and then this one, this one, concentric, here as well, concentric. So this one here important because I want to, to, to tie it. Okay, and this one, that one, make coincident, and then here, make concentric. Okay, did the same thing here, this, uh, this face, just needed to here to duplicate because it's five. Good. Edit the mate and then go there again. Click there. This one, that's one. Make concentric and here concentric. So not the face to face make coincident and the whole make concentric. So that's the way uh, we do and um, that's the way we do now. Not that we don't have here the bolt. We can also use uh, the. The, the two box from the, the sold work just to, to tight. You can see, but right now they are working very well. To tight, just come here right to this uh, toolbox library. You need first to add. W once you, you add all the, the board, now come here to the smart fastener. Select the, the hole where you, you want to tight the bolt. And then uh, click here, head. So it will automatically tight all uh, the bolt, right? If you are happy with the bolt, keep. If not, you can just uh, change. So that's the way you, you, you do. Just come here and then change uh, the, the style and also the size. I will just here keep the same one to avoid make this video long. As you can see, we have complete the assembly. So that's the way we assemble the parts and I hope you like. And please don't forget to subscribe and see you to the next one. And consider as well to watch this video here.